Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Some More Stormblood. So, we've helped Minago and Mefred here with trying to unite the peoples of Alamigo to a common cause here. Because if we're going to kick the Empire out, we need all the cooperation we're going to get. So what you got for me now, Conrad? Did I do good or did I do good? I don't know where the hell have you been? What's up, Arbal? I hadn't seen you in forever. So, you gonna introduce me to the other two people behind you, or, uh, nope, nope, okay, alright, alright, fine then. Fine. <laughs> Flags are on this place. Alliance forces have occupied Castrum Orients and taken up positions along the length of the wall. Our patrols have engaged their reconnaissance parties on site, but there have been no significant exchanges. Save one. A unit tasked with field testing prototype Magitek weapons was attacked. The weapons were destroyed with the unit sustaining near total casualties. <laughs> Sorry, losers. Near total. Go on. My lord, there was but a single survivor from the unit in question, which falls under my command. According to his report, they were ambushed by a contingent of Aeorzean Alliance regulars, abetted by resistance insurgents. Hmm. A simple ambush and only one survivor. A fine day's work. The stubbornness to survive is not without worth. He may live. However, the twelfth is no place for the weak. He shall be relegated at once, my lord. As you say, the twelfth is no place for cowards who count their lives more precious than the cause.
Indeed, indeed. We have no need of cowards. Oh, snap. M my lord, uh... Cowards! Who defer critical missions to their subordinates, who... Hide within their castra, never meeting their prey in battle, never staring into the whites of their eyes. Why? When confronted with a heretofore unknown icon, did we surrender the wall to the Alliance? Well, because a lot of people died there. Like... The place was set on fire and and then flooded. Like, almost nobody was living through that. <laughs> because my honored father, in his infinite wisdom, has not seen fit to grant us leave to march on their lands. Accordingly, we have extended an invitation to our neighbors. Gear Abania is where we shall host them. The field upon which we shall enjoy the sport of kings. Patience is paramount. Cornered animals may have spirit, but they are ultimately predictable and very poor sport. But if one dangles the promise of freedom before them while nipping at their heels to stoke their passion, then things become interesting. It is a delicate dance, one which asks much of my hounds. And so I put the question to you, my fellow huntsmen. How shall we deal with these savages? My lord, I have a proposal. Silence, Alamegan. You do forget yourself. Dude, the boss asked you a question, and she was the only one who spoke up and actually is willing to give him an answer. You shut up. Only by the grace of Lord Van Bailsar were you afforded a place here, and that in name alone. We have no need of your proposals, savage. She's in the room right there with you. If your boss did not want her here, she would not be in here. He literally just killed one of your own, okay? Like, for reals. Yeah, I'd punch him in the face too. This savage yearns to hunt her own. The floor is yours, Commander. Thank you, my lord. I hope she gets to punch that guy in the dick later. Of course, every, everything takes forever to load all of a sudden. So, hello, old friends. Even though I, uh, camera angle, I don't like what you're doing right now. Like, this is so rude. Yeah, totally people who, you know, show up from time to time, but completely aren't important at all. Yeah. So if you don't remember who Arnvold is, he's been with the Scions since the beginning. He's actually one of the few people who share the precious gift of the Echo among us. 
and there are uh, lines of dialogue here and there, even as back as far as Rowan Borg. He and Alphano are friends. Um, not much is really done with this up to this point, so it's very easy to forget. And uh, his little buddies from way back uh, were actually killed, a bunch of them, uh, during the raid on the Waking Sands. And I don't have any screen caps or whatever, so if uh, you guys want to Google food that, because I know somebody has them somewhere. Um, his companions who did end up die, one of the last things they did was pull the money to buy this armor he's currently wearing. So I think that's kind of sweet, but I really wish they, they did more with to ease him into the plot. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, that, uh, I was just telling about them, them about that are involved. But he, he's going to play a semi-significant role in the expansion going forward, but I really wish they, they did more to kind of ease him back into things. Yeah, see, like, conferring just a little quick summary of what I just told you, but a lot of that happened so long ago, so it's very easy for players to forget that. And I just really wish they they had a, just a, another quick moment for, you know, just to reiterate the whole events on what happened and to better ease him in the plot. Like, why wasn't he here when we first crossed over, you know, into the wall? You know, they, they should have done that with him. Like, especially since he is Alan Megan as well. So that I think that would have done a bit more to help convince some of the other people to to join the cause you know being like hey like dude like I get it you know it's like I'm I'm one of you but I'm not blaming my lot in life on crap that's happening when I can do something about it so what's next Mago yeah we're all like just standing right here give us something to do Just, just go ahead and just walk off, guys. Like, yeah, just take a lunch break and don't invite me to anything. Um, hi. How are you? Who are you? What can I do for you? Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Alright, so I'm gonna do Jeff for you, okay? Uh, interview a bunch of people and stuff. Well, I suppose I can do that. Make no no promises about the quality of the writing, though, okay? I'm a primal slayer, not a journalist. Hi, I've been given homework. Can you help? Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to you in a minute. But I find, I find what she, she says kind of important, and I wish they could do a bit more with that, because helping the Resistance doesn't have to mean, you know, that, that you need to be a skilled fighter. You know, you do still need people to work in the infirmary. You still need people to craft and maintain weapons. You still need people to cook the dang food. You know, people, people, to make and keep stock of your medicines and things like that, you know. Maybe remind people that it's not just about, you know, working on the front lines and such, you know. Yeah, 
Okay, I, I, I guess I can give you that. Hello, person who's guarding this door from absolutely nobody. Okay, I finished your one question in inter interviews. Yes, he dude has even got better handwriting than I do. Okay, cool. Got to could be of use now. I'm off to help somebody else. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hello again. Sorry I cut you off earlier. Okay, so army food sucks. Let's spice it up a bit. Alright. Got the gist. Don't want to leave the oven on unattended. It's cool. Okay, well, I'm not eating it, you are, so, whatever. If I need another peanut butter sandwich, I'll just go back to the Rising Stones and make another one myself. But apparently that's not good enough and I gotta search for more. I totally forgot about this part. Not sure why we have herbs just sitting around around the reach and, you know, not have it at the stock keeping guy. Hello again. I have your herbs, although some might be a little bit dusty, and I don't know what quote-unquote herb this is. I'm not a botanist of any kind. Well, hopefully it's not like poison ivy or something. have to feel bad. You just told me to go across the way and get some herbs. You weren't expecting me to go gallivant halfway across town to go randomly collect them, so you don't need to feel bad about asking me a favor. You had a point, you know. You have stuff sitting on a hot stove that you don't want to leave unattended. It's not like you just shoved it on me just because. So what's up, snack lady? Yes, but, but do you have a list of names and or general description of who you need to be looking for? Like, am I just holding up a sign being like, announce a battle mate over here needs, uh, 
your attendance post haste? I don't know. I suppose we all have our ways. I have brought you the, to ye thy novices. You are welcome. Okay, but where are you actually going to train though? Like, where are they? Oh well. That is not important right now. What is important is this dude over here. Hello, how can I help you? What are you looking for? <laughs> Sentimental value, I guess. It's alright. I can relate. No, I found it. Hello, I found your doohickey. I understand. Sup, where'd all your friends go? Why are you here by yourself? Did you get ditched at launch? Did they die in a ditch you? Did they? Did y but but you've been to the cast room before. Like, can't we all just teleport? Like, you guys have link pearls. We're like 150 yards from each other. Like, can't we just like call one another and be like, hey, yeah, uh, we're 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 going back to the cast room. That cool with you guys? Okay, okay, thanks, bye. Like, I I know they they make point. That 
these things aren't exactly secure, but if they're not, why do we, if, if that is such a concern, why do we even have them half the time in the first place? You know. What's up, you two? You've missed all the fun. Now we're here to tell you we blew stuff up and it was glorious. Yeah, so maybe this time we'll actually all, you know, do something instead of just sitting on our butts half the time. No, guys, that's cool. That's cool. That is totally cool. Like, you know, people still need healing and doubtless more are going to once we, uh, commence this assault we have planned, so... Of course, this is what we're going to say. Of course. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why are you telling Lise what she should and should not do? Like, for real. <laughs> If <laughs> I think she should be taking point on this. Well, I'm not gonna sit here with a thumb on my rear. Like, of course I'm gonna go. Uh, Minfilia did the same thing. Like, that was kind of her thing. Like, you all gathered into the office and you discussed the problem and then she delegate and you go do it. Like, this is not any different. It's just you're not in, you know, gathering in an office anymore. Now, now we're, like, actively seeking each other out to discuss these plans. Nothing else has changed. I get the powers of teleport. I can go back to the Rising Stones and make myself all the peanut butter sandwiches and grab as much apple juice and what else did I bring? Um, let's bring, let's go with some cheese sticks. What, what else should we bring? I don't know, some fruit snacks might be awesome. And when this is all done, I will take you all out for tacos. How about that? Does that sound good? I think that sounds good. Hello, my friends. I have returned. Yeah, we made some new friends. Everything was pretty awesome. I got a little apprenticeship as a journalist. Um, 
maybe a crash course in some botany. I still don't know what the heck those herbs were made of. Frankly, I think it's silly that we're pushing forward this early, but from a pacing perspective, I can completely understand because we can't just like sit here and, and train new recruits, you know. The Empire is gonna eventually take notice, you know, that, that we're at the wall and uh, do something about it sooner than later, you know. Plus, plus, we can't sit here, like, plot-wise, just sitting here training recruits and not get on to the next actual objective of the story, you know, so. I get it. It's... kind of wish there was a tiny bit more of a segue, but... At the same time, I completely understand why there's not. No, no, I didn't want to talk to you. You're not interesting to me. You don't even have a first name. Okay, I'm gonna say it feels so weird to be on such a tall character that I'm almost as tall as Ravon is. And it feels, it's awesome, but it is so awkward at the same time. Okay, alright, so that is going to have to be it for this episode. Hopefully now we can put, you know, the Resistance's plan into motion and push back against the might of Garlemald and show them the Scions are no longer going to take their hot garbage. So thank you for watching everybody, and I shall see you next time.